Hello everyone, Tommy with Studio Sense here. Hope you're having an awesome day. So what does 212 VIP for men, Black Orchid and Bleecker Street have in common? Well, they all have the same perfumer, David Appel. And in fact, David Appel's latest release in 2021 from the house of Alfred Dunhill is a brand new fragrance that you probably never heard of and I hadn't heard of until I actually accidentally ran into it at a discounter. So what is a brand new release doing sitting on a discounter shelf? Your guess is as good as mine and we might find out that it's either a really bad fragrance or maybe this is a new summer banger just waiting to be discovered. So when we come back we're going to take a closer look at Alfred Dunhill's Driven, that and more so stay tuned. Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at an Alfred Dunhill release called Driven. Now what's interesting is this is a tribute fragrance, something having to do with the racing genre, thus the word driven, right? Coming on the heels, oddly enough, of Icon Racing Red and Icon Racing Blue, which those to me were not supremely great releases. If this is even mildly better than Red or Blue, to me, Alfred Dunhill's got a winner on their hands because they haven't released anything for a while that's kind of raised eyebrows. So before we get down to checking out that scent, let's first check out that presentation. dig the box it's kind of like art deco so it's all black and white on the very top is a reverse embossed stamp that is Dunhill on the front you've got a silver box with Dunhill driven in black and then of course all across the box as you can see is probably all one picture if you were to unfold the box it actually looks like a it doesn't necessarily look like second practice in the south of France. So Driven is an Eau de Parfum concentration. This is a 100 ml bottle and the box is pretty cool. On the bottom you've got your UPC, your stamps there and your ingredients listing. Now the presentation itself, if you put it on the side, you can see that they meant this to be kind of like an, the axle of a race car. Now this, when you look at the actual formula, looks like it's gonna be a spring and summer offering. A really nice masculine fruity fragrance with a nice modern formula. So let's talk a little bit about that note breakdown. Alfred Dunhill's Driven features top notes of bergamot, lime, red apple, and plum, with heart notes of cardamom, cinnamon, jasmine, and rose, resting on a base of amber, amorous or torchwood, vanilla, cedarwood, and musk. What I find that apple adds to a fragrance is a little bit on the higher register. So typically apple is found in the open, lighter, sweeter, juicier, tangier, got a little bit of, you know, that sweet bite to it. We've got bergamot and lime. So we've got some really nice citrus to go along with that apple and along with that sweet mealy plum. And we've got kind of a half and half heart. We've got half floral and half spicy with cinnamon and cardamom and then rose and jasmine. So that's gonna be interesting. And then at the very base, we've got amber, vanilla, cedarwood, uh, musk, and something called amorous. Amorous is just like a, um, it's found along the Florida Keys. It's actually kind of a citrusy smelling flower. So it adds to the overall citrus feeling of a fragrance. So I'm curious to see what all of these notes do in this particular fragrance. So let's check out the juice. I'm not super sure about this presentation just because the, the lid is has got such a large area at the top and such a small area at the bottom that if you put a little bit of pressure on it, you see how the lid starts coming off on one side? 
you know, it's kind of winky wonky there. It doesn't really snap on, it just kind of fits semi snugly there. So, presentation's not tremendously great. Atomizer is just okay. It tends to leak a little bit and spit uh, a little bit with that juice, but yeah, it's not bad. I would say right around medium quality. So guys, I like the I like the fact that this is pretty heavy in the apple territory. This is a very subtle fragrance. There's not anything that's like knocking on the door saying here I am and, and announcing itself. It's just really kind of subtle. The first thing you pick up is a nice apple, aromatic apple scent. Yeah, definitely getting a little bit of floral. Uh, citrus is just making, since apple's on the higher register and citrus is on the higher register, they just kind of combine them into one thing. So it's just like a bright apple note, some citrus, you know, built into it. This might be an intelligent fragrance. This might actually do something when you spray it on your skin. It might actually go somewhere. You know, the first thing I get is that little bit of apple, pretty much it. But as it's drying down, now I'm getting a little bit of the floral and some other, some other notes are starting to like ping in and weigh in a little bit. It's not like a huge difference but it's subtle. That's why I say when I use the term intelligent, I mean it's typically a, a fragrance that you have to sit and ruminate on a little bit. Pick out the notes. For those people that like fast, furious, and loud fragrances, they're not going to dig this. Driven is not going to be a fragrance they're going to love because it's not at all like that. In fact, the name is kind of counterintuitive. It should be called something like window seat, <laughs> you know, or just something that seems more contemplative than driven not at all similar to the name. I like the fact that it's got that apple and floral in there as a nice balance. You know, you've got your little bit of meaty floral, you've got that apple in there, the plum. It's decent on a tester strip. It's more like a little bit of an apple floral fragrance. A little bit of amber in the base warming it up a little bit. So with the heat of my body and the warmth, hopefully it'll bring some of those other notes to the fore that I haven't yet smelled. This fragrance, guys, I gotta tell you, is super counterintuitive. When you look at this fragrance and you know it's a car tribute fragrance, and you see this and like, oh, I see that that's, you know, the tread of a tire, you expect something with a little bit of force to it, with a little bit of punch. Cars equal acceleration, equal racing, equals competition, equals testosterone, you know? So you think of something that's gonna be a little bit more Dior-like. This doesn't smell like a crowd-pleasing, soapy clean, soapy fresh kind of fragrance that you just spray on and run. It's not a dumb reach. Now granted, the fragrance itself isn't super complicated and I'm not trying to overcomplicate a simple scent profile. It smells like a citrusy apple, floral apple fragrance on the masculine side, not on the unisex side. So there's a combination of cedarwood, musk, and amber that's in the base that is lightly animalic because you've got that contrast of the sweeter notes. You've got sweet citrus, you've got sweet apple, you've got sweet plum, sweet cardamom. You know, you've got some florals that are known for being a little bit sweeter. And so you've got that bright, higher register, sweeter notes. And then in the base, you've got amber, which has been known to have some sweetness to it, but it's warm, it's resinous. You've got that amorous, which is also very resinous, even though it's citrusy, it's definitely on the resinous side. It's creating this contrast. So the sweetness that's there, makes the base a little bit more kind of musky and earthy. So it's a really nice combination and that's where I'm getting that masculine from. But it's a very subtle fragrance. This isn't a loud fragrance. It's not a competitive fragrance. You put it side by side with any well-known banger today and it's just gonna kind of dissipate or disappear. It's kind of a shy fragrance. It's a surprisingly nice, intelligent, thoughtful scent for the name Driven for a racing tribute fragrance from Alfred Dunhill. I'm not blown away by it. I don't think you're going to be blown away by it. If you like apple scented fragrances, you'll probably like this. Definitely spring and summer fragrance. Very appropriate to wear to the office or where wherever people are going to be. It's not going to be probably a compliment getter or a compliment puller at all because people are going to have to be like sitting right up on you <laughs> to be able to smell this with their nose on your pulse point on your neck. You're gonna have to grab somebody and shove their face in your neck and be like, give me a compliment because they're not gonna smell it at all. But if you're wanting something to be kind of pensive, thought-provoking, intelligent, with a nice citrus apple feel to it that's gonna be refreshing, then you'll probably really enjoy Driven. Now it's gonna be a casual wear fragrance and I would say it doesn't matter where you wear it because not a ton of people are gonna be able to smell this unless you just tremendously overspray it. I really do like the overall scent profile. I just feel like it's much too shy to catch on in mass that a ton of people are gonna love.
So you might want to wait till the price drops or get a sample of it and try it out before you just go, you know, all in. Well guys, that's a wrap on my unboxing and first impressions of Alfred Dunhill's Driven. It's a nice little thought-provoking but extremely shy apple-centric fragrance for spring and summer. If you've tried this fragrance out or if you own it, I'd really like to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much for stopping by though and checking out today's unboxing and first impressions. And as always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you tomorrow.